हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज मिनरवा शर्मा असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन बायोटेक डिपार्टमेंट एट गवर्न कॉलेज ऑफ मैनेजमेंट एंड टेक्नोलॉजी अलीगढ़ टुडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट ग्लाइकोलिसिस नाउ द क्वेश्चन राइज इज वॉट इट इज ऑल अबाउट सो इट इज अ यूनिवर्सल पाथवे अकरिंग इन ऑल लिविंग सेल्स कंसिस्ट ऑफ टेन स्टेप्स दिस लुक्स क्वाइट ट्रिकी बट वी विल स्टडी इन डिटेल्स नाउ so before jumping to the topic let's study what is cellular respiration the process in which our body produces energy in the form of atp which usually occurs in three main stages in this video we will talk about first stage that is glycolysis before we begin we need to understand two types of metabolism anabolism and catabolism it is a type that uses energy to construct components of cells like proteins and nucleic acids and hence it is termed as anabolism in catabolism it breaks down organic components and releases energy for example cellular respiration so what happens in glycolysis cells break down sugar that is glucose which is six carbon molecule into a three carbon energy rich molecule that is called pyruvate or pyruvic acid this process happens every day in our cells cytoplasm so cells without mitochondria such as red blood cells rely slowly on glycolysis only to produce energy glycolysis can be aerobic or anaerobic aerobic means it requires oxygen and anaerobic without oxygen it lacks mitochondria as well so so suppose you are very much pizza lover like me so if we eat pizza what we get glucose or anything having carbs protein or fat what we all are getting is glucose so let's move ahead and learn it in a very easy way the word glycolysis is made up of two words the word glyco means glucose and the word lysis means breakdown glycolysis is a metabolic pathway that involves a systematic breakdown of glucose to produce the energy it takes place in the cytosol of the cells so the location of glycolysis is cytosol first we will have an overview about this and then we will study about the reactions involved in glycolysis one molecule of glucose which is a six carbon compound is broken down into two molecule of pyruvate which is a three carbon compound and in this conversion energy is released in the form of atp and nadh that produces more energy the process of glycolysis takes place in two phases in first phase glucose is first converted into two molecules of glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate since the conversion involves addition of phosphate so it uses energy instead of producing it so the phase also known as energy investment phase in the second phase glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate is converted into pyruvate and it is the second phase in which energy is produced and also known as energy generation phase now let's look into it glycolysis reactions it all begins with the molecule of glucose that enters the cytosol and the first reaction which is takes place in the conversion of glucose to glucose 6 phosphate involves the enzyme that catalyzes the reaction is hexokinase the word hexo means six denoting the six carbon compound the kinases are a group of enzymes that catalyzes the phosphorylation reactions as phosphate is added in glucose so the enzyme hexokinase transfers molecule of phosphate from atp to glucose and converts glucose to glucose 6 phosphate in this reaction the molecule of atp is converted to adp hence it utilizes one molecule of atp next the glucose 6 phosphate is converted to fructose 6 phosphate by the help of the enzyme isomerase this is a simple rearrangement reaction now the next step fructose 6 phosphate is converted to fructose 1,6 bisphosphate that is addition of one more phosphate group at the first carbon of the fructose ring this reaction is catalyzed by the enzyme phosphofructokinase look students another kinase enzyme which transfers a group of phosphate from fructose 6 phosphate to fructose 1,6 bisphosphate and again atp is converted to adp hence another atp is utilized in the reaction so all together now two atps are utilized in the reaction next fructose 1,6 bisphosphate is splitted into two molecules of 
glycerol dehyde 3 phosphate and dihydroxy acetone phosphate these both are three carbon compound and the enzyme that catalyzes this reaction is called aldolases these all reactions are composed of first phase of glycolysis and as you can see energy is actually utilized in this process in the form of two atps the compounds glycerol dehyde 3 phosphate and dihydroxy acetone phosphate are actually acetone phosphate are actually isomers and can be interconverted into each other by the enzyme isomerase but since glycerol dehyde 3 phosphate is first utilized in the process of glycolysis the equilibrium of this isomerization reaction is always towards glycerol dehyde 3 phosphate also keeping in mind that energy molecule of glucose is split into two molecules so every reaction of the second phase happens twice and produces twice a product now moving towards the second phase in the next reaction the glycerol dehyde 3 phosphate is converted into 1,3 base phosphoglycerate this involves addition of phosphate group at the first position of phosphoglycerate the enzyme that catalyzes this reaction is the glycerol dehyde 3 phosphate dehydrogenase and in this reaction nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide nad which is a coenzyme is reduced to nadh which is further utilized in electron transport chain to produce more energy also this reaction utilizes a molecule of inorganic phosphate the one comma 3 base phosphoglycerate is converted to 3 phosphoglycerate by the enzyme phosphoglycerate kinase this kinase transfers the phosphate group at the first position of the phosphoglycerate to adenosine diphosphate and in the process a molecule of atp is generated next 3 phosphoglycerate is converted to 2 phosphoglycerate this is the simple rearrangement reaction that happens within the help of the enzyme phosphoglycerate mutase next 2 phosphoglycerate is converted to phosphoenol pyruvate the enzyme involved is enolase and magnesium ions are also utilized in this reaction now the final step of glycolysis yay the phosphoenol pyruvate is converted to pyruvate by the enzyme pyruvate kinase the phosphate group in phosphoenol pyruvate is transferred to adp and converted to atp so second phase gets completed this all composed of second phase of glycolysis as we can see energy is produced in the second phase of glycolysis also called energy generation phase now at the end you can see on your screen the list of all enzymes we use to convert glucose and this i hope yes this is it about glycolysis that's how your food breaks down in your body i hope the concept is clear and you can rewatch the video whenever you feel it difficult to understand take care happy learning thank you